Hello everyone, this video I will show you how to use one serial big logical controller and automatic control multi relay board in one system. So we have updated the new freeware of the CLB and also have the new freeware of this H32B. Uh, before we can use this CLB and use this RS232 cable connect with this relay controller. And this time the new freeware uh, will auto connect with more relay controller by the Ethernet cable. So this demo video I will show you. Use this one box CLB and this is digital input. Uh, this digital input one. So I will triangle this digital input one to country this H2, this H8B relay controller. We can see uh, this is just directed by the RS232. This is no network cable and no Wi-Fi. And also at the same time, we can use this CRB automatic country this H32B and H16B. So that you can see by the Ethernet cable. So that you can send command by the HTTP. So let's begin how to, it works. And begin to use the software, we just use the new version of the software and the new freeware update. So this is the new freeware of the CLB logic controller. And this is the new PC software for CLB because that will be have the HTTP options. So I have download. You can see here is this version, the new version. And let's begin. Uh, we can use this Kinkoni scan device and uh, scan all the device in the local network. You can see here is one CLB and one H H16B and H32B. And this H8B because I have not connected the network cable. So uh, I can, can't scan by this network toy. Okay, you can see I can log in with my H16B. And now you can see here H16B. And here we have a post password you need to set to, such as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That will be safety for your project. So you can click uh, save. And also we will open this H32B. That is this IP address. And we log in. And you can see here the board, we have already set the post password is 12345. That will use by the HTTP command. At the first, we open this PC software. And we will log in by the CLB IP address and the part. Uh, you can see here is the CLB IP address and the part. So you just click connect. And we will make the FTDD command. And this FTD command is a part 50. That will edit the number one and edit. And the DI, uh, this is the DI, DI1, digital input one, is triangle type and 0 0.5 seconds and add. And press then. Then we can let, I think we can let H8B on and off. So the first command uh, we will let the relay is on. Channel 1, relay is on. Just up, just close, open. And add then. And we can click this, apply. And now you can see I can shoot for this cable. Uh, you can see, here is the turn on, relay 1. But, uh, this just only for turn on relay 1. So I can make another FTD command for turn off relay 1. So you can click FTDT and click number 2. That edit number 2. This time, we just click this one. And the P, 
This P means short with ground, and this N with disconnect with ground. Also is 0 0.5 seconds, and press add. And this time we add to the Zen command. I just relay one that is close. So add to Zen and apply. Okay, now we can test again. You can see I shot for this. That is really is on because we already is on. But this time when I release this, as a relay will be off. So I shot ground is on and release is off. So this time we have triggered this DI digital input and for this H8B controller by the IS232. And now I will let this controller and the automatic control this H16B so that not need to use this IS232 cable just by the network cable. So this controller or this controller you can install anywhere just connect the network cable and this network cable they are in local network in sync local network okay let's look at the http command because i can use this command turn on and turn off the relay one that is for h16b that by this network cable you can see here is our http command uh, maybe you you will see uh, so much test but just the import is by this sentence. So this one is important. So we can copy and paste. I, I also I already copy and paste. So this IP address uh, change to your control IP address. Now your 16 channel, you can see here the 1.200. So I can change to 200. And this, that means relay one on or relay one off. So this just, you can replace any relay channel number, uh, relay 2, relay 3, relay 4, on and off. And this is the post password, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we have already set. You can see here, I can go to the network setting, and this one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, just we have set this past password. So now you can see, this HTTP command is consistent very easy. You just let this relay one on and add the post password. And you can copy this command to test. In the copy and open window, you can see I can paste. And see this, see this LD? When I press enter by the keyboard, you can see the relay is on. And this will feed back all the channel output, the last update uh, for the state. So if you want to turn off the little one, so you just change this on to off. Uh, this will be off. So I can copy and paste to this web browser again. And see this LD state indicate? You can see I can press and this will be off. Uh, so this is HTTP command to change the relay state. Now we can open this uh, PC software again. We can edit. Uh, the number one, the number one, you can see edit that we have turned on the relay one for this, but we will also turn on the relay one of this box. So we can create the customer design command. We can create the customer command uh, for the H16B for relay one is on. So you can go to here, customer size, and you can see here the customer size command. The max command we can use 32. So let's add to the number one. The number one you want to turn on the relay one of H16B. So we can add to this number one. This number one we can click right. And you can see here is the number one command is right. And now we can edit the number two. This is number two. We just change the on to off. Also copy and paste and write the current. And this number two will be right. And then we go to the FTTT and edit this number one. This is number one of HTTP command. So we can click edit. And the Zen command, we can click Zen. 
because if this is for the S232 have country this box, we need to add an action. So we can add a then just for the HTTP. If you want to turn on the HTTP command, I really want, so you can just use customer design, that is number one. So add then, that is add then, and apply. And also we can add the number two FTTP command and edit. And this time we can click the end. And we also add our HTTP command. That is number two. And add then. So this will be turn off this relay and turn off this relay. So we can apply. And now you can see I will use my cable. This is digital input one. You can see I can shoot. Now this is on and this is on. You can see the two controller is on. When I release my hand, uh, you can see uh, this is off and this is off. So this time I can use this one cable and control this different relay controller uh, by this FTTD command on and off. So now we have used one CLB controlling this one and this one two controller. Okay, let's add this H32B because H32B have a powerful HTTP command. Now you can see here we have seen the H32B, the new freeware of 4.44. Uh, that will support uh, use one HTTP command. Turn on, turn off, and talk in any relay just by one command. So you can see here is the command line. If you want to uh, turn on sound release and turn off sound release and talk in sound release, you just use one command. So that will save your customer design command because the customer design command uh, only have 32 commands. So we can create uh, the number three. The number three, we can, we can create it. And for example, you can see here is the consist of the command. I will show you what is this command. You can see here is the example for this command. Don't worry, it's easy to understand. Here is the command, uh, this IP address of H32B. So you can see here is H32B is one Nine zero, so I change it to one nine zero, and uh, uh, this time we use this command relay relay multi side, and this command is for the multi controller that is consists with this section and this section and this section. That different section section A and section B and section C. That the A section is for a frog for the turn on relay. That is for turn on. And the B section is for turn off relay. And the C section is for talking relay. So every section you can see, uh, for example, A8 uh, to A1. That is A1. We can see big. The A1 is consistent with 4 bit. That is relay 1, relay 2, relay 3, relay 4. And until the A8, that means uh, relay 29, relay 30, relay 31, relay 32. So if you want uh, let this 4 relay is on, so that this bit will be 1, 1, 1, 1. And all this relay, if it is by the 0, that means not changed, just not change any state. This is not turn off, just not change the state. So we can convert every four bit uh, to the hex format. So you can see we can use the calculate and click the program. And if I want to turn on this for relay on, it's for one, 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 just by the binary and the one, 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 one. And the hex is F. So that code is F. 
So if you want to turn on this button, uh, this for relay, uh, we can just write this code. You can see here the F and all the rest is zero. So that will turn on this for channel relay on. And at the same principle, if you want to turn off relay, uh, maybe you have turned off this for channel relay, relay 1, relay 2, relay 3, relay 4, that is turned off. So this also is for bit. If you want to turn on relay 1, uh, turn on relay 3, not turn on relay 2 and turn on relay 4. So that will be 0, that will be 0. So this 4 bit also is F. And we just, uh, this command uh, is for B. So that will turn off uh, this 4 relay. Uh, this is for relay. And uh, this section uh, for the C. So you can see if you want to talk in this relay, it's 21, 22, 23, 24, this relay, we can just uh, set to the 0, 0, 0, 0. And also convert to hex is F. So you can see here is here is the section uh, 1, 0, 0, F. This yellow means this yellow. And uh, this yellow uh, means this yellow. And this F uh, means this F. So consist with with 8 bit. So the total command will be this one. Okay, let's test for it. So we can change change our code. That is copy and paste. So that will turn on uh, this fortune relay. This command will turn on this fortune relay and turn off this fortune relay and the talking uh, this fortune relay. I can launch with my HTTP web page. I will turn on uh, this for relay firstly because you will to see it will be off. One, two, three, four. Okay, this for relay is on. Now we will add to the custom device command. We will add this file. File command. Touch the TDB. Turn on. Turn off. One, two, three, four. And the uh, target. Okay, this is command 5. Uh, this we have delete this command. And this is command 3. Okay, now let's add this HTTP as a third command uh, to this whole system. You can see we have created uh, this HTTP command uh, for turn on some release and turn off some release and talk in some release. So you can just, just go to this customer size command and uh, copy this command as the command 3, custom command 3. So you can change to number 3 and the paste and the write current. And now we can go to FTDT and uh, we can go to the number 1, just uh, press this digital input 1 and edit. And this time we can click then and add a command for customer design for HTTP. That is defined the command is number three. And add to then and apply. And now you can see we will use this cable. Triangle the digital input one, arm, arm, and this H32. It turn on this relay and turn off this relay and talk in this relay. So that is, I have used this input one, a country this box, and a country this box, and a country this box at the same time. That is how to use this one HCLB logic controller and the automatic control multi-relay board. Okay, thanks for watching.